What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike LaBelle. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we have a special tutorial. We're gonna break down the La Croquetta and I'm gonna give you examples that put you in all sorts of different mind states, mind frame, scenarios, breakdowns, freeze frames, intricacies for beginners, for intermediate and for advanced players. We give you the secret sauce no matter where you're at. That's where our tutorials differentiate. We're not rushing out content. If you want people to see this video, drop a like, hit me in the comments. Let me know what skill move or what tutorial in general you need next. And I am working on the best skill moves in FIFA 21. I told you that's on the agenda. I mean it and I'm addressing it and I'm speaking about it. And if you want content live, unfiltered, on display, not edited, twitch.tv slash Mike LaBelle. And if you want to get better at FIFA, of course, join the FIFA school, but I'm not going to hold you up. Let me explain this skill move. You must have a player that is at least a four star skiller with the law croquette. And we saw this skill chained and overused and abused in FIFA 19. Then we saw a reduction in FIFA 20. Now it's back to a certain balance or level of in between where it is a necessity. You should have this in your arsenal in order to execute or implement a La Croqueta. Not complicated. You're going to hold L1. If you're on the PlayStation and on the right analog stick, you're either going to move left or you move right. Very similar to the ball roll. The only difference is that you're holding L1 and you have a better skill movement. It's not as universal. Xbox, LB, and then right analog stick, left or right. And that just chooses which direction you shimmy and you shake. To get things underway, end line mastery. And we have multiple clip examples. It's the most common scenario on the virtual pitch you're going to find yourself running into. And this is a way to alleviate or to introduce your opposition to something they don't want this is where you give them the extra oomph and you often have a little bit of a larger margin for error so it's one of the most effective areas on the pitch first freeze frame uh, the ball's been bouncing around the box to give you the storytelling it falls to none other than Dembele and I got the 1v1 matchup and I know if I beat this man I'll get the layoff and I'm gonna use the end line to my advantage with a little scoop did he scoop we lay it off and then Lampard can't miss from there. It's an automatic goal. But you can see what I'm saying in terms of really playing the percentages. Because if that doesn't work out, it's a good chance it bounces back to me or to another attacking player. Maybe you draw a corner kick or it's a throw in. All of these are positive interactions. As we proceed to give you what you need, you have Marcus. There's the pass. Ben Yadair. You see the stop and the pop. In order to do that, it's a fake shot. Most of you have this in your arsenal. If you do not, I'm putting together a much more complex video discussing different maneuvers and intricacies regarding fake shot setups and the importance, especially with skill moves, because using the La Croqueta stationary is going to be your bread and butter, not when you're moving. And this year, you can do two consecutively without having really any issues or concerns. The chaining, it's allowed. But once you get into doing three or four or five, you don't have something else in between. Expect it to get sloppy. It's going to get away from you. We've got the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and we are going to scoot and boot by this man. Ah! There you have it. Another skill on the back end, and De Young is the unsung hero, and I'm very, very happy. Shall we continue? Indeed, we will. We've got space to work with. Rashford feeds Salah. Once again, end line. We stop. At this position, I'm lining it up. I'm trying to use my opponent's momentum against him. And we're going to shake and bake. Relatively simple with the layoff. Rashford switches it back to his left. Does not matter with Rashford. He can do everything. You're going to see a lot of Rashford goals. That is the spoiler. Okay. Here we go. Taliska down the wings. As we've been saying, there's the stop. Now we're going to attack the end line. Because only positives can happen. I keep that on repeat. I want you to understand percentage, play, structure, how to be organized but still unorthodox, how to have creativity and dynamic, prolific capability as you attack, as you go forward, doing the unpredictable but still having a planned method or mythology to your unpredictability. We're going to shake and bake. And the La Croqueta is a bit of a 50-50. You pick left, you pick right. If your opponent's not ready for it, or if he goes one way or the other, rock, paper, scissors, let's go. Boom, gone. Layoff, a little bit sloppy. Falls to Mbappe, finds the back of the net. Last of the end line mastery, Rashford. Similar position, 
We gotta stop. And I like to take a second. You don't always need to go directly into the La Croqueta. If you need to pause, you can see what the defense gives you, what they do. Allows you to set up different combination play. And if you don't need the skill, then use something different. FIFA is still about simplicity at the end of the day. Mastery of the intangibles before you start adding in all the razzle dazzle. There we go down the end line. And then we switch it up. Salah beats it home on the near post. And the reason that I had to resurface or recircle is because the Lock Croquetta beat the man, but he didn't dive in. So he wasn't out of the picture. He wasn't out of the equation, at least not yet. Welcome to diagonal realignment. And it still has similarities. We're using this skill. We're penetrating, but now you're on more of a diagonal. So you're no longer, as you can see there, we've already forced our way into a shooting lane. We've got an angle. We're just trying to improve that angle and beat the 1v1. So we're no longer facing down that end line. We have already helped ourselves out. And usually from this position, you would be looking to incorporate the skill. And then you're going to go straight for goal. You're going to score yourself. This is the final setup, the final maneuver. And everything still is happening from a stationary position. It's just a much better setup. And once you get good at this, you can start to add in different skills that are also stationary. So your opponent doesn't know what's coming next. Rashford. Ah! And it is so smooth the way that he steps through with that off foot, that weak foot. Better than a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Back to the other viewpoint. Remember, if you watch the weekend league, I play from multiple angles, just depending on the day uh, in terms of where the face cam is. But here you have it, Salah inside the box. We're going to stop. And at that moment, I'm just checking out my defender. Which way do I think he's going to guess? Is he playing aggressively? This is most effectively used inside the box. That's going to be a theme. You're not going to see a lot of La Croqueta play from yours truly unless I am on the edge of the box or inside the box. The final third skill move, I wouldn't recommend using it on repeat or abusing it in the middle of the pitch or even with your defenders. It's not that you can't use it, and I'm not saying never to use it, but the risk to reward is not worth it often. Salah, gorgeous. We just scoop past him, a little skip. The crocodile is there in the finish. Back of the net, top corner, best corner. This is a little more advanced, and you may have noticed you can pass out of skill moves before they completely execute. You can also shoot out of many skill moves. There's cancellations in FIFA 21. It deals with responsiveness, but it's something that you need to understand. So I wanted to showcase an example of where I use the La Croqueta, and in between the skill being executed, I'm also gonna make a pass because I, I've already analyzed and I've reacted and the way the defender is playing this freeze frame, his positioning and what I'm trying to do offensively, I know, let me get off the ball, let's start off the one twos. Just wait, it will all make sense. Defensively, we're looking for a stop and I will put together a defensive tutorial, I know you want it. There it is, De Jong gets stuck in. Alon, stuck in. And here we go. The idea is to feed Rashford. Uh, but I see that I have a manual matchup here. So I kind of want to know, at least as an attacking player, can I beat that man? Can I put him in a worse position? Because Rashford does need a split second. If I'm looking for a 1-2, it might be available now. But he hasn't completely beat his matchup. This through ball's not there yet. I've got somebody that's mainly being controlled. What if he steps over? What if he goes this way? I want to be able to react offensively. So with Ben Yedder, there it is. You see the La Croqueta, I can see what he took away or what he's not taking away. And I've also increased and bought enough time for Rashford to be in a great position offensively. A more advantageous position. And then I can go for the layoff and it starts our attack. And you're going to see what happens. Rashford turns back to Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder. And then return the favor again. One, two. It's always a game of cat and mouse. You're trying to bait your opposition to a certain degree. Last but not least, and potentially the most difficult of the four different types of scenarios where we're setting up the La Croqueta, this is where you're looking for multiple skill moves. You're expecting at least to hit them with two or three. And I know that before I go into the first skill, and that's why skill move combination play and advanced players are able in general to have a bunch of different skill moves in their arsenal and how to implement them is because they throw one skill knowing already what the second skill is going to look like. Or at least they got a couple options on their mind. There's a certain instinctive uh, capability when you're looking at multiple skill moves and doing this consistently. Where I'm not just hammering down the right analog stick. It's not random. As you're going to see with the play developing, we miss our initial chance with Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder, go for the layoff. AI block now comes to Alon. And I love this example. We're juggling, we're juggling. We re position ourselves this is where you're seeing us get stationary so you already know what's coming next but because of the spacing i know that i'm gonna need at least one more skill move especially considering that alan which is personnel recognition does not have a great shot 
from outside the box, edge of the box. I don't really trust his finishing. It needs to be a little more automatic. He's got to be 7, 8, 9, 10 yards out to have a chance. And hopefully there's not going to be a lot of guys around him. So check out this combination play. And I will make a tutorial covering the roulette because it's one of my favorite skill moves this year that gets no love, no recognition. I don't see people talking about it. And you guys aren't using it nearly enough. So we stop, pop, lock, rocket. But you see where the defender's at. He did not attack me. That's why I knew that I was going to need a secondary skill move. But at this point, I've done one lock croquetta. I'm attacking the space. My opposition is saying, oh, I've got to get in front of him. And that's when you're going to see the introduction of a secondary skill move. Sometimes you might even need a third skill move. We go with the roulette, and he's burned. I'm going to show that again because I know that the screen glitched a little bit. So watch this in full speed. We're running it back. Alon stops. La Croqueta. He's not there yet. I got to bait him to dive in. He dives in. Roulette. Alon, who's not gifted and talented with finishing, slots that into the back of the net. And we have a highlight mixtape and one ball is life moment that we're going to take away from the weekend league. And we get a W. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop some love on the video. I know people aren't dropping videos like this. I'm giving you something for the beginner, the intermediate, the advanced player, quality gameplay on display. I want you to get better. Remember, you need a four-star skiller in order to do the lock croquetta. And there is a tactic. There's a definite method to having successful skill move execution. I'm looking forward to the comments. If you have questions, use them. But I have a lot more content coming out for you ASAP. ASAP.